Welcome back to Aliens, another glorious day in the core. Yes, we're starting turn four, and that means we are going to start uh, pulling two tr motion tracker cards during the alien phase this time. We got Ripley down, we got a couple aliens in our face. Oh, and I should mention too that if you are not orthogonally adjacent to the doors, they automatically close. They're not just open because it has to do with line of sight. So if you had an alien here, of course you couldn't see through a closed door. So just want to make that known as well. So this door is basically closed. This one's open because the alien is adjacent. If we kill it, the door will close. Just so we know. All right. Um, we have set all of our aim dials to what is on our cards. Ripley's down. She won't be able to do anything except stand up if there are no aliens next to her at the start of the alien phase. So Ripley's kind of out of action. She took a little bit of a beating there last time. And so we are starting off, of course, with Hicks. Hicks has two cards in his hand. Now, you may draw an endurance card. I'm not going to. I'm just afraid that we're going to pull a hazard card. And I don't really want to do that. Now Hicks is going to start us off because uh, he's our hero. And then after that we get to do all of our grunts. So I think we're just going to have Hicks. I think Vasquez and Gorman and Frost, I think we should be able to uh, take out the aliens and Hudson without, without Hicks having to take out the aliens for us. So we're just going to have him go first. He's going to move eight spaces because he can move four. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. Then he's going to go one, two, three, four. Moving to here. I'm going to try and get over here. I'm really hoping that token is not an alien, but we can get in here to the computer maybe and figure that out. Well, that was basically Hicks taking his turn. He double moved. Uh, let's zoom down here now. I think we're going to be starting to attack that little alien Swarm. Now, if you move adjacent to an alien, you must stop your movement. But if you start your movement adjacent to an alien, you can move away from it. So Vasquez could move if she wants away from it. She could actually go one, two, three, whatever. All right, let's zoom down. I think we're going to have Vasquez go next. I think she's going to try and blow away those aliens. Yeah, Vasquez not impressed with these aliens. And she has an aim dial of six. She's using the smart gun. She is just going to start off with an attack action. And with the smart gun, we must exhaust two cards yeah we're burning through our uh, our deck pretty handily here so we burn two our uh, exhaust two cards she gets to make an attack rolls two dice hitting on a six plus let's see if she can blow away some of these aliens and she gets a one and a two. Oh yeah so yeah she takes out the first alien there's two in that stack not a problem and her smart gun of course has full auto and so with full auto, we spend, uh, oh, sorry, and her aim dial goes down to five. And she's going to keep firing full auto. And full auto means you uh, exhaust one card and she gets to fire again. This time she needs a five or less. And she gets a seven and a ten. So she misses. God dang it. And her uh, targeting goes down to four. Well, so much for Vasquez taken out those aliens. Now she can fire again. Oh man, you know what? I think we're just going to have her move. She can move four. She's going to go one, two, three, and four right in here. She's depressed that she couldn't take those aliens out. Now we got Frost here. Um, and we got Gorman. Let's have, let's have Gorman go. Gorman's going to shoot at this guy with a pistol. That does not cost uh, uh, an exhausting of a card. The pistol, the first shot is basically not a free shot, but his his ability to shoot is four. So he needs a four or less to shoot that final alien, and he gets an eight. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. So he goes down to a three. Now he can exhaust one card, which he will do, to fire his pistol again. Now he needs a three or less. And he gets a two! Yes, Gorman! Way to go. Gorman actually takes out the alien. So now we do not have an alien adjacent to Ripley. Thank goodness, because that would have been quite problematic. <clears throat> so basically, Ripley doesn't get to do anything because she's knocked down. So the only two characters we have left are Hudson and Frost. We're going to have Frost... 
who is right here. Man, he should probably get over to the... Oh, oh I don't know. Now let's have Hudson go next. Hudson's going to... He has a motion tracker. Nah, he's not going to use it. He's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to here. Ah, uh, and up last we have Frost. Man, I almost want to get Frost in that room with the computer. Let me see if we want to do that. Never, ever split up the party. Oh yes, and this door closes again because nobody is adjacent to it. So uh, it will automatically close. Not locked, not barricaded, it will just close. So here we have Frost. Frost is going to go one, two, three, four. Four, and then he's going to go one, two, three to here. Now he's adjacent to this entire computer terminal space. That was all of his actions. So next time he can do a tech action on the computer terminal and maybe take a look at some of these, uh, one of these blips. We've got to try and figure out where Newt is without just wandering everywhere in the complex. That's everybody's turn. Uh, everybody's gone. And so now, we're into the alien phase. And it doesn't specifically say on here, uh, down characters stand up. But if you read the rule book, it basically says any, any knocked out or knocked down character that is not adjacent to any alien at the beginning of the alien phase gets to shrug it off and stand up again. So Ripley basically goes, huh, what the heck just happened? So she gets to stand up again. That's it. All right, uh, activate aliens. Well, guess what? There are no aliens on the board, because Gorman took out the last one. Way to go, Gorman. I'm not going to make fun of you too much more. Uh, now it's activating blips. Well, guess what? We have no blips on the board, so they won't activate. However, draw motion tracker cards. We are doing that because we are in turn four. And when we're playing a solo game, if you look at the rule book, one player, you draw two motion tracker cards. So I'm going to zoom the camera out here a little bit. And we're going to start drawing motion tracker cars. Now, Hudson has this, but I think we're going to hang on to this for a while. Uh, so he could have used the motion tracker on his turn, which is a free action reveal card. And you do this. But we are in, we have um, mixed in level one, level two cards. The top ten cards are level one, level two. Once we start hitting level three cards, maybe we'll have Hudson start using his motion tracker. But right now, we, we won't. Or he wouldn't. All right, I'm going to zoom the camera out. We're going to be drawing two cards and activating. We'll see what, it, what happens with the motion tracker activation cards. Okay, motion tracker card the first. And we get a false alarm. Oh, cool. Recycle one card. What does recycling mean? Uh, it just means we take the top card off of the exhaust deck and we shove it underneath the uh, reshuffle, the reshuffle thing. So it just goes underneath there. So that's our endurance deck. Still looking pretty healthy. All right, that was motion tracker card number one. Yes, nothing happens. We got lucky. Well, they are the they are the level ones. All right, the second motion tracker card. We get lucky again. Oh, and that's a level two. Ooh, and we get oh dear. Alien Vanguard. We get a blip uh, at three. Oh my god, we can see three. It's <laughs> it's right here. And then we reveal a card. If it's blue, place another blip at spawn point four. Or if it's a hazard, place another blip at spawn point three. Oh my god. Yeah, so things are things are gonna get ugly. Alright, so we reveal a card, and we reveal, which is gonna go back underneath, we reveal a green, which is nothing. Which is nothing, because if we look at this, there is no helmet symbol here, so we just get one blip at spawn point three down there, and this gets put. Because it was revealed, it gets put on the bottom of the underneath the reshuffle. And that's how that works. All right, cool. All right, let's, uh, let's get readjusting the camera. Let's get reaching in the bag of excitement and see how many aliens are gonna show up at spawn point three. Okay, into the bag we go. And anything from basically one to five, spawn point three. Oh, and I should say, I forgot to mention, you can barricade spawn points and you can barricade um, 
uh, holes. What are they called? Uh, these things here, when you have a rupture in your substructure, you end up getting one of these um, entryways, entry points. You can barricade those as well. So you can barricade doors and you can barricade spawn points. All right, enough talking. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? We get this one, which is three. Okay, we get three aliens showing up at spawn point three. How appropriate. Three at three. Okay. Now they don't move or anything, they just spawn there, and yes, because we are in line of sight to three, that's why we're immediately revealing it. Otherwise, if it was hidden, we wouldn't reveal it. So we have three aliens right here. Now, aliens that are revealed always move six spaces. Two, three, four, five, six. So, and they go towards the closest... I think they go towards the closest with line of sight. So they're, this guy's going to motor right down the, down the aisle here, obviously. You can see them. And yes, if you ever had the barrel of monkeys as a young kid, all these tails are like the big barrel of monkeys. And that's going to be ending off our episode for today. Uh, we still have no idea where Newt is. She can be up there. She could be one of these tokens over here. I don't know. We do have Frost next to the computer, though, so next time maybe... If he does a, a successful tech roll, he can, we can start looking at blips. Uh, and then maybe we can have our rest of our team come down here and mow, mow down these aliens. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to find out. As you can see, it's not so easy to take the aliens out, even if you have like full auto and a lot of uh, marines shooting. So thanks so much for watching along. Make sure you comment, subscriptions, likes. This is Aliens. Another glorious day in the core. We're playing the extended first mission, Newt. We're trying to find her get her and get all of us out of the exit to complete the mission and now we are having two motion tracker cards populating the end of every turn or every alien turn Oof, it's gonna get it's gonna get bad all right thanks so much Hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation